Yo yo YouTubers, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. Um, last time we, uh, well, we got our fourth gym badge and yeah. Now, uh, I'm sure you're wondering right now, what am I doing in Pokemon Stadium? Well, here's, a, here's the thing. Um, for some reason, as you may know, in part 21 I think, um, Yellow was sort of glitching on me in the game in the Game Boy Player, so I figured I tried Stadium, but um, yeah. And uh, someone said that that is not really the answer, and suggested that I start the game over while sending some of my Pokémon here to Stadium. How that's done is you go to the Pokémon Lab here, <laughs> insert card, and it's recommended that you save it at a Pokémon at a Pokémon Center before doing this. You can go to here and send any of your Pokémon into Stadium itself. So what I did was, I sent Mew, only Mew, to, to Stadium, and restarted Yellow. And boy, did I get through it fast. So yeah, I'm pretty much right back to where we started, and from here on in, we are going to be playing the game here in Stadium, using the Game Boy Tower. And sadly, this thing does take quite a while to load. So I'll just see you guys when we get to the, yeah, when we get back to Celadon. Okay, and here we are. Now, there have been a few different changes with the teams here. As you can see here, Brute Root is now at level 30. That wasn't possible in the last game file. And at level 30, Ivysaur will want to learn Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf is a stronger grass type move, and it has a high critical hit ratio, so, yeah. Defi definitely replace uh, Vine Whip with Razor Leaf. Um, Flood. Flood hasn't changed much. Level 28. Same moves as before. Um, Zephyr has had one major change. I've decided to keep Fury Attack after all. So yeah, Fero no knows Peck, Fly, Leer, and Fury Attack. Um, Cryo Flare has a new move. Believe it or not, Cryo Flare now knows Dig. How that's possible is through getting the Dig TM again. Which means right now, Mew still knows a Dig TM that was from the last game file. So yeah, now I have two Diggers, so to speak. Um, also, before restarting Yellow, I actually taught Mew Mega Kick, which is a TM you can buy here in Celadon. It's, a, it's got higher power, but less accuracy. And shock hasn't changed, except I, I did. I did find um, an extra HP up and bought some protein and, and um, calcium. I think um, protein will up attack and calcium will up special. So yeah, it hasn't really changed much. However, at level 33, Pikachu will want to learn agility. Agility will basically increase speed by two. Um, I think Pikachu is fast enough, so there's really no need. Yeah, not all that much has changed here. So that's really all I want to explain. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. If we mosey on over back to the PC, there have been a few changes here as well. Oh, it's my PC. Uh, yeah, that works. So yeah, we still have Eevee, still got Miles, the Mr. Mime, and we still have Butterfree. As you can see, Butterfree is at a lower level and does not have, um, well, it doesn't have a nickname and it does not know Teleport. Um, instead of Rattata, I caught a Nidoran female for Spiro, like I did last time. And this Cutman here is actually a Bellsprout. Yeah, I wanted to find a, a Paris when I went through Mount Moon again, but I couldn't find any for some unknown reason. Plus, I used up the last three Pokeballs I had trying to catch Clefairy. Caught into the last one, ay ay ay. So yeah, Bellsprout was the more appropriate choice. And by giving Pikachu more of those um, upgrades and stuff... Now it really loves us. <laughs> That's sort of different. So yeah, other than that, nothing else has really changed much. So, that's really all I want to explain in this part. I apologize if it's really, really short, but... Yeah, coming up is the uh, map with the... 
the map that will show you the um, two different routes you can routes you can take for Future City. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. Welcome to the map of Kanto. Yeah, I know I'm using the Malstikonia for this segment, but I'm not in the mood for any more recording right now. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Anyway, if you have the annotations turned on, then you should be able to click on which route you want to take for Fuchsia City. The left side will take you through Cyclone Road. The right side will take you through Silence Bridge. Both directions lead to Fuchsia City, so it doesn't matter which road you take. So, until the next time, YouTubers, on that note, I take my leave.